Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the cold steam radiator. While talking with a customer about boilers, he asked if I could meet one of his techs at an elementary school. There was a classroom there with no heat, and his tech needed help figuring out what was wrong. When I arrived at the building, the tech thanked me for coming and explained the problem. The classroom had a single steam radiator, and the radiator never warmed. Did it ever heat, I asked, trying to see if this had been an ongoing problem. It stopped working a few years ago, he said. The tech replaced a the thermostatic element in the trap twice and the radiator valve once without success. Inside the classroom, I closed a supply valve and removed the cover and thermostatic element for the radiator trap. I verified there was no steam in the condensate piping. It's common to have a small wisp of steam in the return. This is called flash steam. A leaking steam trap will show a steady plume of steam. Steam traps work by pressure differential. If the condensate pipe and the steam trap have the same steam pressure, there is no pressure differential and no flow. This is called steam stall. After opening the radiator valve, I saw steam coming through the radiator. This eliminated the steam side of the system from the problem, and I had to concentrate on the return or condensate piping. Dan Holohan, the smartest steam guy I know, has a saying about troubleshooting steam. The problem and the solution are rarely in the same room. We traced the condensate pipe from the cold radiator through the building. The pipe dropped two stories into a crawl space below the school. We crawled through the spider webs and over rocks and pipes to where the condensate pipe from the cold radiator was. The vertical pipe was connected to a horizontal pipe. We followed the horizontal pipe until we found the culprit. A clevis pipe hanger had come apart and the condensate pipe was sagging. This sagging caused a water seal in the piping. Steam systems must breathe, and a water seal prevents that from happening. When the steam is off in a steam system, the pipes are filled with air. When the boiler starts and the steam starts coming from the boiler, it pushes the air through the piping and out the condensate tank vent. After the boiler shuts off, the steam condenses and air rushes back into the system from the condensate tank vent and fills the pipes. The sagging pipe did not allow the system to breathe. Air was trapped in the condensate pipe and steam could not enter. Two gases cannot occupy the same space. If the air inside the radiator cannot be removed, the steam, also a gas, cannot enter. The maintenance tech and I lifted the condensate pipe and reattached the pipe hanger. When we walked to the classroom, the radiator was nice and warm. The maintenance tech could not believe that this was a solution. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have my two websites. The Brewing with Steam site has monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. I have written 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you could find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.